Well, Griffin, I noticed uh, you, you, you had an outstanding off season and started really noticing that uh, on the ice. Just talk about uh, how great it is to get in there with so many defensemen. The, the depth on this team, uh, the competition obviously is keen, but uh, here you are. Talk about how that off season went leading up to a, a fine start here in the very early going. Yeah, I think we had obviously a disappointing end to the year last year uh, with North Dakota. So when we got back from uh, from our week off after that series ended, um, me and a, two of me and uh, Sully and Slip just got to work, and our off season started then, and we hit it hard. So um, it's been it was fun to work hard, and honestly, it's fun having a lot of competition too, because it it pushes you and everyone else to be really engaged and involved. And your weeks and your days matter, because like lineup decisions are hard. For our coaching staff so um but yeah it really started in in march after we lost and then starting the work there so it's been a long off season and it's fun to get rewarded early and uh the wins will start coming too as a team you mentioned pushing each other in the off season how does that help to develop in particular the decor to de develop the chemistry amongst the six or seven guys who are in the lineup every night yeah, I mean, we got we got a class of four now with Ellis joining. So, uh, you know, our sophomore class is a is a tight knit group with uh, Joe and Gwebs as well. Um, but we had a, we had a great great group of D last year as well, and with with Johnny who had a really strong year, and then to have Krenner and Moose and Kirby uh, come back, like they're they're uh, steady guys and in big time players in our lineup. So I think it's just like finding your niche, finding your role. Um, and like, if you don't have a role, you got to find one, and then you got to get really good at what maybe other guys aren't great at, or what you're good at. You got to get great at. So, I think it's being really self-aware, knowing uh, where you're at, being real with yourself, like looking yourself in the mirror and knowing you're not all that, and then getting to work to to not become all that, but to just become someone who can help. Griff, you got points in uh, five or six games, leading the team in points right now. Are things just kind of like slowing down out there for you? You see the game. You know, a little bit, a little bit better, more clearly. I think one one thing I I mean I did this off season. I, I skated with Slipic a ton, um, and we just did like a ton of over speed drills. So like, I think if you're just doing drills fast, like inevitably the game's gonna get slower. Um, so I wouldn't say like the game's getting slower per se, but um, it's easier to make reads. Like our team's a very predictable team. Uh, we have a lot of guys who just consistently are in the right spots, who know their jobs, do their jobs. So it makes my job a lot easier to move pucks and just get pucks through to the net. So, What does it mean to be uh, your first weekly award in the NCHC Defenseman of the Week after last weekend? What does that mean to you? It, it's fun. Like It's fun to get recognized uh, individually. But ideally, like you want individual success to follow team success. And like an overtime win is, is fine. But... I know that's not what we expect in our locker room. Uh, it's not what we prepare for Monday through Thursday. Um, but yeah, like it was, it's great to be recognized. It's fun, but I wouldn't go much further than it's. Just, it's fun. It's fun to be seen and talked about. But um, we want to win games too. At the end of the day, can you talk a little bit about um, the scoring early on? Came from a lot of defensemen. Um, now it's starting to shift a little bit. We're starting to get the forwards in there. What kind of impact do you? have in that team role in terms of making that happen? I think that's something that's kind of, it's, it's changed rapidly, um, honestly. Like, I don't know what my expectations were coming into the year, but it's been fun to uh, step into a role um, and just and just seize it and play and just focus on playing. So, yeah, we were defensive defensive points heavy early on, and uh, we have a, our offense allows us to get involved defensively to get to the middle of the ice and um, – Gabs and, and Bernie and Pete and Hammer uh, pr preach that. So I wouldn't be surprised if the defensive statistics continue, but our forwards will start taking over. Like they're doing all the right things. And, you know, unfortunately doing everything but going in the back of the net, it doesn't count. It doesn't mean anything. So we need to start scoring, but they're doing all the right things. So, yeah, I would expect our forwards to start heating up very fast. What's it now in, in – in the NCAA overall, there there isn't a lot of time out there for a point man to to mess around with a big slapper. You got to find that time and space, and 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 try and find a lane and get get rid of that quickly. Uh, and especially in the conference, uh, what what's that like? That pressure out there. Those forwards or those wingers are coming out in front of you pretty aggressively. They're, they're obviously not fools at yeah. this level. They're gonna let you guys dance around back there a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah, they come hard, and I think um, 
it's obviously a challenge to play against. It's fun to like watch. We have a couple D who are really good at it, and I think it starts with their footwork. Like LeMay is one of the best skaters I've ever played with. Vic's really good at it. Uh, Glaives is a great feet too. So like it's fun to watch them use their feet and uh, not me try to replicate that, but just take what they're good at and try to put it into my own game as well. And uh, whether it's adjusting the angle of your stick to pulling it into your body, pushing it away. So we have some good guys to just watch and take note of and it's fun to uh, like just rep that out in practice. So um, it helps because our, our decor is tight and like we're all, it's cool. We're all cheering for each other. Um, so there's really, there's internal competition, but guys want others to do well, which is fun. Griffin, do you have to change a trajectory on those shots at times? With You talked about pulling a puck in and leaving it out. Uh, do you sometimes uh, just try and do a change up to loop that into a goaltender, especially into a crowd? Into a crowd is always is great because it causes chaos. Like being on the flip side of that, defending those pucks is a challenge because um, you're just spinning and trying to get sticks, tie up bodies. Um, so of course, like I think my my biggest change from last year to this year is I'm trying to shoot more and shoot fast. Like get the puck off my stick quick. Um, like our forwards are heavy and strong, and they'll go take cross checks in front of the net. Like my goal against. Uh, Western, like Jesse at Lansdale and Sully were right in front, taking eyes, taking sticks. So, like, the goalie just didn't see it. Um, so, and then, like, Sully's power play goal, great hand eye, gets a stick on it. That's an assist. Like, they're, the guys in front are doing really good jobs. But, yeah, like, you want to just – we're just taught to get the puck through. Get the puck through, get it low, and uh, let our forwards – if it doesn't go in, let them have a chance at a, at a second puck. How has it been playing this year with uh, your brother? And is your mom excited to be able to go to one place now? Yeah, <laughs> it's been great playing with T. Um, he's adjusting super well to, to college. And uh, hockey's, hockey's he, he's, he's always dominated. He's been great at hockey, but I think he's adjusting to the schoolwork too of being a student athlete and, and just the weight that that carries. Um, but as far as sharing the locker room with him, you know, him being down the street in the dorms, coming over, hanging out with me and Sully, like we see each other all the time. Uh, T's my best friend. So we, we hang out, uh, he's crushing it. And then, uh, mom and dad are very excited to have one spot. They were, when we were in the USHL, like they would just divide and conquer. And I think I played four games in my career without one of them there. So almost had a parent at every game, but yeah, they're, they're excited to have us in one spot this year. What was it like being your older brother last weekend, introducing your brother to NCHC play, and just kind of giving him a taste of what it's going to be like? You guys have had some tough out-of-conference teams, but really getting him ready as an older teammate but an older brother for the speed of the NCHC. Yeah, I think as an older brother, it's it's an interesting role to be big brother, uh, best friend, and then teammate all in one because those are three different voices. So navigating that has been a learning curve for myself. Um, but – as far as, you know, Tanner as a hockey player, he's gotten to where he is by just working hard and, and, and being real with himself and challenging himself in areas he can grow. Um, so I'm, I'm not concerned about him uh, figuring it out and adjusting to the speed of the NCHC because he's adjusted every level he's moved up to. Um, so I guess my role hockey-wise uh, has just been to encourage because he's got all the tools and can and can have an impact on the on the game against any team, whatever they're ranked. So um, as far as getting them ready for Western, it's just it's just daily habits of uh, taking each day serious, taking care of your body, um, feeling it right, uh, cooling down right. But that just comes with maturity too, and he's doing a really good job uh, adjusting to that. Any other questions? What do you guys know about LIU this weekend? You guys faced them last year, but just what you guys think so far? Yeah, we know they're an old, uh, heavy, strong team who's going to, you know, pressure us, um, get up ice. You know, they're going to force pucks to the slot um, and really just try to feed off of uh, probably our own mistakes. So I know it's probably said weekly, but it's going to be about us again, as it is with every opponent. Um, but they're, they're going to be a good team who's going to work hard and, and definitely give us a challenge. So we have to match that and then play how we play, which will be enough to beat everyone if we do that consistently.